The finished product. Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video. That's because I just came back uh, from the Energy Science and Technology Conference in uh, Idaho. It was absolutely amazing. I um, demoed this um, motor there as well and the presentation should be out soon. So uh, definitely uh, check that out if you want to see that. But I want to show you what I'm working on right now, which is actually the more advanced thermo motor generator that Robert Adams um, invented later in the 90s and um, yeah it works a bit differently it looks a bit differently as you can see the magnets are um, actually oriented versus of course these are pointing out the magnets so uh, the coils will actually be uh, there so I, I wound these coils already they're they're here these are the two drive coils um, they'll have a 15 millimeter core in them so like this piece is gonna go in there and um, yeah I was just uh, actually threading them as you can see here I have one in there that I threaded with this thing so um, yeah it, it uh, is so uh, I can mount them like that in there because uh, these this rotor actually has neodymium magnets in there 20 millimeters so they're extremely strong and so I wanted it to um, definitely not fly out um, what you see at the front is a little spacer that I printed because whoa <laughs> there you go Jesus well I'm glad the spacer was there uh, <laughs> Um, the thing is Adams recommended a gap spacing of 1.25 millimeters and so that's why I printed that little spacer to have exactly that spacing um, yeah and also to not break my magnets when they accidentally smash into the cores so uh, <laughs> these uh, drive coils are 36 ohms I can show you so they're 35.7 so close enough but uh, that's what uh, Robert Adams uh, recommended for these uh, higher power machines because this is going to be powered by about 120 to 240 volts. So that's a lot more than that little motor over there which was just 12 to 24 volts. But that one is using um, ceramic magnets and this one is using very powerful neodymium magnets. And there's another thing I want to show you with this rotor. So yeah, this rotor, as you can see, it has four neodymium magnets and in between are four plugs of lead that I casted. They have the exact same size and that is supposedly, at least that's what I'm going to be testing, uh, that is supposedly the trick uh, for this engine to turn into a heat generating engine. Um, so it's very uncommon to see lead in a motor of course and that's what Adams kept saying he, uh, he was using materials that are not common in traditional electric motors and based on my research the best guess um, that I have is that the the material was lead and so this is what I'm going to be testing out um, yeah so here you see the rest of the parts so there will be four of these brass rods to connect the two uh, side panels there's uh, an opening here to fit the uh, ceramic bearing I have uh, some as you can see the bearing fits in there and then there'll be a washer and there'll be this um, shaft collar to keep everything in place and so it's very uh, it's a very nice construction I think and I, I just copied this exactly well close to I copied this uh, pretty closely from what Adams uh, was doing so uh, from the pictures that I had thanks to Peter Lindemann so uh, yeah we'll see uh, what this does and I'll update you guys once it's uh, up and running uh, after like I now have all the parts to assemble it finally it took me months to wait for all the parts and get them and source them but I finally have them all I finally threaded these these cores which was very tricky to do to be honest but uh, I managed to do that so now um, yeah I'm gonna assemble it and then I have to just uh, come up with the circuitry for the switching and then hopefully we'll see the effect that Adams mentioned which is extreme heat generation um, which if that happens um, I will continue uh, the build and add all the 
the, the like add the water tank and add all the plumbing to this motor but for now this is complex enough so uh, let's see what this does first and then uh, I'll uh, share a video once I uh, have all that going thanks again guys for uh, supporting me and always check the description under the video because I tend to share everything that I have here uh, in the description so you'll find the 3d models of all these parts and everything so uh, definitely check that out the finished product minus the electronics